Oh, Dean, I really hoped that he would succeed tonight because I didn't really want to have talked to him again. And I feel a bit bad, but before the bullying headlines start with their nonsensical headlines, but I'm preempting. I'm here to talk and give opinion on the show. So that is literally the end of it. That's all I'm doing, is I'm giving my opinion on I'm Celebrity. I see that when I put my hand in the box, I scream and then she screams. It's a vicious circle. You don't scream then. So don't even start with those bullying headlines because it's not right and absolutely not true. People's comments on articles about Talisa I think it's absolutely horrendous, some of the things people are saying about her. Thank you, that's kind Listen, of Listen, I've booked a restaurant for next week. It's going to be Thai food. Oh. All expenses paid. I'm going to send the cab to your house for about 8 o'clock. I'll see you there. The way she looks, what's happened to her face, it is just disgusting. I don't know why people think they have some sort of God-given right to comment on people in the public eye's appearance not knowing the reasons behind why her face, you know, may look different to what it was a few years ago. Just needs to stop, it is disgusting. She's gone on a show, she hasn't asked for abuse. And I tell you what, I hope she comes out and calls every one of those trolls out that have been so disgusting to her. It's not acceptable, it's not on, and it's really not kind at all. Don't ever apologise for having a cry and let it out. No, rule number one, no apologising for crying in camp. I just think she's such a strong character and last night she really showed that she was a true camp leader. I don't think there's anyone that rivals her um, apart from Jane. Let's see the tattoo. Right, it's like a golden eagle now because my arse has got bigger. <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a... Um, Talisa. <laughs> This did make me laugh, actually. She even tried to be matchmaker for Melvin. Will Carol Waterman fall for him? But actually, I'm not sure who even cares. Can't do all of this tap dancing and tiptoeing around the situation. Yeah. Melvin, a strong woman like that is going to appreciate you going, I just want to say I think you're a sensational woman and I'd love to take you out. We learn that there's two new faces in the camp, Maura and Reverend Coles. I'm not sure how either of these are going to fit in with the rest of the camp yet, or not, maybe. And there's another big surprise on the way because two new faces are heading for the jungle. But I really hope that they've been put in to ruffle some feathers because the camp really needs a bit of drama at the minute. It's a bit dull and it's a bit wet. I suppose it's just like the weather in the jungle. But we really can't be relying on Teabag Gate for entertainment. So come on, guys, ramp it up a bit. So Dean has obviously now got a nickname called Teabag Dean. And I have to say, I'm not surprised at all that he's been chosen to do another trial. Dean! The public have found their weak link and they are really testing him to see whether he will crack. I know the trial with Grace was really tough, but his screaming made me want to scream too. I'm not with him, but at him. Come on, just get a grip, get on with it. The hunger is really going to start kicking in soon. And if Dean messes up Lethal Lab, I think the cab campmates might actually put him in the pot for dinner. I get that he might have been petrified doing that trial, but everyone knows full well what this show's about. You know what? what you're going to have to endure when you sign up for it. So what is the point in doing it if you're just going to play chicken? It just doesn't make any sense to me. So my heroes of tonight has to be Daddy and OT, the villain, oh, I'm really sorry, but Teabag Dean, and who I want to see do a trial. Sorry, but it's going to have to be Colleen.